Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So about this setup, do you guys like it? Is it too dark? I kind of wanted to switch up from being in my room all the time and film out here for you guys. Anyways, today I'm going to be sharing an unboxing video with you guys. And you guys know how I feel about food. Trying food on camera is just my favorite thing for some reason. And you guys know how I love subscription services, especially if they revolve around food. And I've actually unboxed one of these before. It is the Love With Food box, and this is the March box. So I'm going to be opening this on camera for the very first time. I'm kind of trying everything out and sharing what I think with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So for those of you that haven't watched my other video, how it works is that for $10 every month, you get a box of organic or all natural snacks and they're kind of small sample size so you can try them out and test them out but my favorite thing about this box is the fact that for every box you buy they donate a meal to a food bank in the states so basically you're getting healthy snacks for yourself but you're also kind of making a difference and help fight hunger in america and it's really special i feel like it's important for everything you buy to kind of have a nice meaning and it's just nice to know that you're doing something special, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into unboxing this. So every box every month has a kind of theme, and this box's theme, and this is a March box, I think I already said that, but just in case. This one was chosen by Healthy Grocery Girl, so I believe she's a blogger? Nope, she's not. She's a dietitian as well as the founder and CEO of Healthy Grocery Girl. So basically, she handpicked the snacks in this month's box, which we're gonna see now. So I'm just going to start kind of grabbing and taste as I go, I guess. So the first thing I see is this almond butter cacao truffle by Two Moms in the Raw. Okay, is there a description in here? Yes, there is. It says, who knew raw gluten-free truffles could taste so indulgent? Clearly, in this case, moms do know best. Okay, so basically, it's kind of an organic truffle-esque snack. So I'm going to try it on camera and let you guys know what I think. So this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a chocolate coconut macaron, but it's not. It's made of almond. Let's see. Okay, so first impression is kind of boom cacao in your face, but then it's like, it tastes a lot like almond extract, like almond. It's pretty good, but it doesn't feel like a truffle. It kind of feels like a cookie more than anything. So that's tasty. So up next in here, I see this, and this is Annie's Bunny Graham's chocolate whole grain graham snacks. So I guess it's kind of like chocolate graham crackers. These are very pleasant actually. At first, they taste very sweet, kind of like a children's cookie. But then, kind of a very mild flavor. I do like this a lot. I like them better than like regular graham crackers even. Okay, let's just move on to the next item in here. And this is baked organic potato snack it's called bob that's very clever i like it and it's by the brand good boy organic so basically it's kind of like a potato chip but it's an organic potato chip so they're gluten free organic vegan and they're baked so basically really healthy for you i feel like these are kind of really healthy versions of junk food and that's a good thing so i'm just gonna try these let's see okay so these Definitely don't remind me of normal baked potato chips. It's hard to explain. It's not a regular potato chip texture. It doesn't taste like baked blaze or anything like that. It's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. They're just very kind of thick and airy. I don't know how I feel. They're definitely more on the cracker side than on the potato chip side, so. Okay, should we go for a sweet snack next? Let's see. Okay, I think this could be appropriate. It's called 180 Nutty Rice Bites with dry roasted cranberries. Okay, let's see what this is. It says, what happens when you tumble together great tasting real food, healthy, delicious snack bites for guilt-free munching all day long? So I still don't know what this is. It's kind of like rice bites. I guess they're made out of like popped rice. Ah! It's child proof and Deborah proof. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I did not expect these to look like this. They kind of remind me of rice cakes with lots of fruit and nuts kind of jumbled in between. So let's see how this is. Mmm. I like these. Definitely remind me of those rice cakes, like the Quaker rice cake cracker thing. But it has kind of chewy cranberries in between. 
and it tastes so good. I think this is my favorite snack out of all the ones I've tried so far. Kind of like a very portable and fun rice cracker. I love these. Okay, so up next, I'm gonna choose kind of like the strangest thing slash something that I've never seen before. And this is called hemp hearts and they're raw shelled hemp seeds. I'm not sure how you eat these. It says sprinkle on salad, cereal, and yogurt or just enjoy on its own right out of the bag. So it looks like it's kind of like white and green mixed together and I'm just gonna try it even though I probably should mix it into something, but you know what? We're doing it. Let's go. How do I even do this without making a mess? Oh. I don't know how I feel. I thought they were gonna be crunchy for some reason and they're not, they're soft. That texture is so unexpected. As for the flavor, it tastes very nutty. It's not bad at all. It's just that the texture is strange to eat on its own, but these are definitely interesting and I'm glad I got to try these once in my life because I never knew that this was a thing. Let's just move on to the next item because I'm like obsessed with hemp parts right now. So moving on, the next thing I see is this, the Good Bean Roasted Chickpeas with Sea Salt. I think I've actually tried these before in like another flavor. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm still gonna try them on camera for you guys. They are basically dried, yeah, they're roasted chickpeas with sea salt. I don't know how I feel about chickpeas because where I'm from, um, chickpeas are kind of cooked exactly like beans, like they'll be baked or kind of like just cooked exactly like beans and served with rice. And sometimes I'm not a big fan of them, but who knows, let's see. This is definitely a snack that you could eat while watching TV. It's very satisfying, I feel like. The crunch and the saltiness. As for the flavor, it's kind of nutty kind of grainy because it is a grain, essentially. It's a good snack because it does have a lot of protein and it'll fill you up and kind of satisfy that junk food craving. Yum, okay, moving on to the next thing I see. It's this two degrees chocolate banana mini snack bar. I believe I bought this somewhere as well. I can't remember if it was in the last box that I got or if I bought it somewhere, but I've definitely seen this before. But I don't remember trying it, so we're gonna try it on camera. But before I do, let's see what it says. Omega rich quinoa, chia, and millet make these bars a nutritious afternoon snack. Dried bananas and dark chocolate make them a real treat. So it's basically a kind of like bar, snack bar. And I believe this company also, yeah, it says the buy one, give one food company. I think they also donate a meal for every kind of bar that you buy, so it's also a really good cause. Anyways, let's try this. Ooh, it reminds me of a brownie, like a healthy brownie. I like. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. Are we sure this is good for us? I feel like if you put this in the microwave, it'd be so good. It'd be exactly like a brownie. I really like this. So if you like bananas and chocolate, this is a really good choice. Can you tell I was kind of hungry before I filmed this video? I'm just eating everything. <laughs> okay. Next thing I see in here, I see only a few things left actually, but the first is this Miracle Tree Moringa Organic Tea and it's strawberry flavored. Can you please be quiet? This always happens to me. So I was saying, this is by the brand Miracle Tree. It's an organic tea that apparently gives you energy, which I need a lot of as of lately and it's strawberry flavored so I'm not gonna try it on camera for obvious reasons that I have to go make it but I'm definitely excited to try this out and I'll let you guys know what I think so moving on to the next thing and I believe the things that I have left in here I can't really try on camera this for example is by the brand the spice hunter and it's a and I don't speak French so I'm probably gonna kill this Herbs Deep Provence Blend, a herb blend to season your food with, and it's salt free. So it says for chicken, sauces, omelets, vegetables, and marinades. There's a recipe on here, so I will definitely try this out later as well. And then the last thing I see in here, I believe, are these little chocolate looking candies Choco Chews by True Joy Sweets, a candy that everyone can enjoy. Chocolate chewiness that's vegan, gluten-free, and organic. So they kind of remind me of Tootsie Rolls. Let's see if that's what they taste like. That's what they look like, little chocolate chews. Yep, I think it's in my teeth. Definitely a healthier tasting version of 
Tootsie Rolls. It's really good though, really. Are you giant? Does anyone want a free dog? You drive me crazy today. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so I believe that that's everything for the food items in here. There are a few little flyers down here that I want to share. Um, and I believe this is a gift card by Urban Remedy. I have no idea what this is. I actually don't know what Urban Remedy is. Apparently it's kind of like a food site and this is a $10 gift card. Let's see if it says anything about that site. Nope. I guess I'll have to kind of research that later. But that's pretty nice. So then in here there's a few coupons and kind of flyers. Information on the tea, on the two degree bar, on the two moms in the raw truffle things, hemp food, hemp heart flyer thing. It kind of has their social media handles. And then there's a coupon for Noma Lim Noodles. I don't know, I guess it's kind of a noodle company. So that is basically everything that was inside the box. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox this and kind of try everything out for the first time. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you did. And also, my friends over at Love With Food have a special code just for you guys. If you want to try their box out or next month's box out or this box out, all you have to do is check in the description box and you could get it for free if you use my coupon code. All you have to do is pay $2 for shipping, I believe, and the box is yours for free. So if you guys are interested, definitely, definitely check that out down below. Thank you so much for watching. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.